what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more stargate sg1 this is season one episode 17 titled enigma so let's get into it any relation to edward enigma why well, I me mean, his name actually isn't enigma his name is e enigma also that was really bad cg this was going on when we sent the probe through. What's this stuff in the air? Ash. Stiff wire. There's probably not snow. Something it's probably ash. Rolling on their faces. Don't inhale that shit, man. Reverse. There's a woman. She's alive. There's more. Hurry, you guys. There's no life here. This one's had it. <laughs> so what? They. They're gonna suffocate here? Don't. Help us. This is like two episodes in a row where they basically shouldn't be breathing, right? Unless I misunderstood. We encountered some very severe volcanic activity, sir. Who are all these people? We don't really know, sir. They're all dead and dying around the gate. Here was highly toxic. And hot. You better have Dr. Frazier take a look at you. We'll debrief as soon as you're ready. Yes, sir. Who are you? I'm Major General Hammond. This is Colonel O'Neill. Jack. Samantha Carter. Uh, Daniel Jackson. Who is this place? You're on a planet called Earth. These people saved you. Nothing could be further from the truth. Well, unless I miss something, you're better off here than you were there. There was a rescue transport on the way. Well, half your people were already dead. I don't think it would have gotten there in time. Perhaps that's more of a problem for you than it was for us. Beg your pardon? I find it unbelievable that anyone so primitive could have deciphered the gate system. Did you say primitive? I, too, am from a world very different from this one. Here, life is highly valued. Quite a statement for a Jaffa. Sir, I'd like to know who you are. What you know about the ghoul? I am Omak. Our world is called Tolan. And what do you know of the ghoul and Jaffa? We're aware of them. We don't interact with them. Well, then we share a common enemy. Did I mention an enemy? I only meant it might benefit everyone if your people and ours could be friends. I demand you return everything that you've taken from us and allow us to go home. Well, it, it could take a while for those volcanoes to quiet down. In the meantime, I'm a bit of a culture buff. I'd like to learn about your history and customs. I've said enough. I'll say no more. Screw you, dude. This guy's just saved you. You were dying. Hey. That guy's been on a lot of stuff. Think. Captain Carter, I want you to monitor the situation on Tolan very closely. As soon as it's safe there, I want those people to uh, the clay Yes, sir. sir. I was just down in the infirmary with one of the Tolan trying to get them to talk to us. They only ask questions, never answer them. Matter of fact, one of them was asking a lot of questions about you. I thought they weren't interested in us. Oh, I didn't say us. I said you. General Hammond thinks maybe you'll have better luck getting some answers. You remember Nerim? Yes, from the planet. You were a lot dirtier then. Um, Captain Carter. Or is it Doctor? Why don't we just make it Samantha? You may call me Nareem. Captain Carter, Mr. Nareem seems very interested in our planet. I thought maybe you'd like to escort him up to the surface to have a look. Really? I would be very pleased to have that opportunity. That seems like a dumb idea. As long as idea. you give me your word, you'll stay with Captain Carter. You have my word. We're just trusting this? Great. It, it could be a terrorist or... I don't know. You don't know what, what he could do. I don't know. Can you tell me something about your world? Is it permitted? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. A flying animal. Yeah. We call them birds. Are there other animals? Oh, yeah, millions of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there have been none on Tolon for generations. Not so primitive well, to you guys. I could bring you pictures if you like. I would like that very much. Thank you. But Maybe I think it would be best if Omak didn't know. Why? Omak is not as harsh as he seems. 
he is only trying to protect us. And you. From what? Perhaps. Perhaps we should go back. UAV is holding course and the wormhole should reach the Tolan Gate in three, two, one. Temperature, ground, 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit. Air seems to be in pockets ranging from 1,500 degrees down to 200. Sounds like L.A. If the heat doesn't get you, the atmosphere will. It's mostly pyroclastics, basalt, ash. A person could suffocate very quickly. How long before it cools down? I don't know, not anytime soon. Computer predicts that at the current rate, the gate will be buried in a couple of days. Now it looks like we've got some guests for a while. Are you absolutely certain? Yes, I'm sorry. Also, he was in charm. Then nature succeeded where we failed. What? You were going to seal the gate. Our final task was to close the gate so that no one could return and be harmed. Well, wherever you were going, we can recalibrate the coordinates from here. The new settlement world is outside the gate system. We'll need a ship. Oh, uh, we don't have ships. Not that kind, anyway. Our space program is relatively new. Well, the bottom line here is your survivors have become refugees. If they don't want to be here, We've got to relocate them somewhere. You know, General, we have done some fairly good deeds out there. Maybe we should try calling in some markers. Okay. Colonel, you and Teal follow up on that. Maybe I know we'll somewhere that has some um, of our old friends. Captain Carter, I want you right? and Dr. Jackson to get the multi-purpose room on 5C readied as a refugee housing center. Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? Um, it may sound ridiculous, but I have no idea what to do with these items. Oh, well, our sleeping platforms adjust automatically to our body temperature. They don't come with accoutrements. It's okay. I'll show you. I, I brought you some things to take a look at. Thank you. He's real smitten. You're welcome. Uh, you, you might like to see this first. It's a cat. Oh, I never thought Very I'd random. see a living animal. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, it's kind of a joke, really. His name, that is. Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> oh. Right. Well, see, there was an Earth physicist by the name of Erwin Schrodinger. He had this theoretical experiment. Put a cat in a box, add a can of poison gas activated by the decay of a radioactive atom, and close the box. Sounds like a cruel man. Oh, no, no. It was just a theory. He never really did it. But he said that if he did do it, at any one instant, the cat would be both dead and alive at the same time. Ah, uh, equilibrium physics. An atom state is indeterminate until measured by an outside observer. We call it quantum physics. You know the theory. Yeah, I've studied it. In among other misconceptions of elementary science. <laughs> Misconception? You telling me that you guys have licked quantum physics? Omak. Uh... I'll come back and help you with this later. You gonna get mad at him for talking? I did not tell her anything. People, we have a problem. Your refugees seem to have escaped. How'd they get past the guards? You can ask them that when you find them. They're over here. Hold fire! Why? How? We were merely observing the stars. Well, you're all gonna have to come back in now. So we are prisoners. General Hammond, before we begin, I wish to thank you for allowing me to be the first visitor to your Earth from the Land of Light. It is I... indeed an honor. Have we seen these guys before? I don't know. Maybe we have. I don't remember. Please tell me. My Lord Omak, the Land of Light is a world of eternal brightness, where fertility abounds. Our farms produce rich harvests. Our rivers are blessed with fish and fowl. We would be honored to share our land with your people. You have no idea who or what we are. We know that you are in need, and that you are here among those who have proven themselves our friends. That is enough. You're missing the point. His planet is unacceptable to us. These people are even more primitive than you. No need to be rude, dude. Nareem, can you tell me why Omak is so, you know... Obstinate? 
The nearest planet in our solar system was called Sarita. When we began to explore space, we learned she was inhabited. Did you make contact? Yes, when we thought they were sufficiently advanced. They were on a level very similar to yours. So what happened? We offered them a device to produce unlimited productive energy, and they used it to make war. How bad was it? In one rotation of our planet, they had destroyed theirs. One day? The destruction shifted our planet's orbit 0.3 to Kana, enough to begin a chain of events that made our world unstable. So that would explain why he's so afraid to give a society like ours any of your technology. Yes. Tell me, what, what were you really doing outside last night? Omak spoke the truth. By studying the position of your stars, we were able to calibrate the distance between Earth and the new homeworld. It is very far away, Samantha. Too far to hope for a ship in our lifetime. You did exactly what I knew you would do. You used threat and force to solve your problem. You didn't give us any other choice. You could have come for us unarmed. Hey, you haven't exactly behaved like someone I want to trust. I'm not going to put my team at risk. And I will not risk my people in your care. Look, Amok, if you're so advanced, why don't you let your people decide for themselves? Nareem, this is a free country. Every year, we take in thousands of refugees fleeing repression. If you request asylum, you can stay here no matter what Omak wants. You don't care anything about Nareem's rights. You only want our technology, nothing more. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't mind knowing how you got the hell out of this place. You don't need to know how. Only that we did, and we can do it again anytime we need to. Colonel, General Hammond would like to see you and your team right away, sir. There's so much drama from, like, SG-1. Makes me curious, like, what about SG-2, SG-3? We've managed to augment the surveillance video from the multi-purpose room and some of the corridors. How busy is everyone we with their enhancement. You're not gonna believe this. Huh? Whoa. Cool. But totally impossible. This is not much far beyond that of the goal. That's exactly what the President and Joint Chiefs want to hear. Colonel Mayburn, sir. NID. Intelligence? What happened to Kennedy? Promoted. I took his place. Promoted? Talk about failing upwards. Colonel O'Neill, I read about your conflict with Colonel Kennedy in his report. I assure you, such an attitude will not prevail with me in either direction. I sense that. Good. That's an order releasing the Tolans to our section. You ought to be congratulated, General. The Stargate program is finally paying off. This was quite a coup. Excuse me? These are people we're talking about. These people do have rights, you know. Do they? Under what nation's jurisdiction? How about basic human rights? I can't release them to you. I beg your pardon? I don't believe the president meant to release these people until they have been through quarantine. We don't have any idea what kinds of diseases they might be carrying. You're out of your league here, Which is why you let them We're playing in the ballpark them? now. And I have the full authority of the president. So do I, Colonel. Why don't you ask the airman outside to show you to our guest quarters? That's okay. I'll wait. That wasn't an invitation. It was an order, Colonel. General, didn't Dr. Frazier give the Tolans a clean bill of health? Just don't let her tell Mayborn that. At most, I've bought us a day, people. Find me some alternatives. You're a good man, General. Okay, Colonel. Want to tell me why I'm here? Because Mayborn isn't, sir. Sir, we wanted to talk to you about what we could do to keep Mayborn from taking the Tolan. We must ensure the Tolans escape. I can't let you do that. We'd all be court-martialed. General, I'm about a hair away from not caring. However, Daniel, I can't be court-martialed, sir. When you call Mayborn was here questioning my people wanted us to take some sort of tests. And you expect me to trust you? Please. Mayborn is from another division of our government. My group is trying to protect you from him. You're not doing a very good job. No, apparently not. Do you have a new place for us to go? Well, no. And we have nothing else to say. Okay, I do know of a perfect place you could go. I just don't know how to get you there. Well, then... Why do you speak of it? Well, I was kind of hoping that maybe you'd have the technology to get there. This is another trick to gain access to our technology. No, it isn't. Listen, there was a planet we went to where people were as advanced as you, maybe even more advanced. They were the called the Nox. If you went there, why can't we? Well, because they felt about us kind of like you do. They called us very young, which I suppose is a hair more polite than calling us primitive, but same idea. Anyway, they sealed their Stargate, and I don't know how to communicate with them to get it open. Do you know where this planet is? Yes. I have the coordinates right here. Then we must go back to the mountaintop. 
the coordinates. If you can communicate to coordinates, they're, they're not. Why can't you communicate to coordinates where you need to go to for the rest of like your new place? I don't understand. You could be like, yo, come pick us up. Listen, I'm no astronomer, but won't that take thousands of years to reach the Knox world? No. Samantha? Nareem? Oh my god, how do you do that? Very carefully. I have come to say goodbye. We'll be leaving soon. So you think Daniel's plan will work? Either way, I will be leaving. However, I will go reluctantly. Why? Because as of tonight, we will never meet again. Oh, come on. You forget about me in a heartbeat. I thought you felt that way. That is why I brought you this. What is it? You have audio and visual recording devices, yes? Yeah. This one records emotions, my feelings for you. I have worn it each time we were together. How does it work? Touch the red triangle. And close your eyes. We have a custom. That expresses more than words. We have a custom too. We have other customs too. Whoops. Ah, uh, sorry. We gotta do some stuff in here. What the hell is going on? I think the mainframe's having a nervous breakdown. Oh, no, the iris is failing. Well, why is the blast door down? Get it up. Dr. Jackson, this is Colonel Mayborn. What you're doing is a court martialable offense. He's not in the military, Colonel. And I think it'd be kind of tough to find a civilian law to cover this. I'll have you removed from this program forever if you do this. Chevron 7. I started this fucking program. Fuck you. You send them, we'll hunt them down. We're not sending them anywhere, sir. The gate was activated off world. Someone is sending for them. Who? I didn't know you could do that. Hello. Hello, Laya. All personnel in the gate room, this is Colonel Mayburn. I have a presidential order to take the aliens with me. Do not let them pass. Use force if necessary. Your races learn nothing, but you have. The Tolans are most welcome to join the Nox. Please come. Nareem was right about you. Perhaps in time we'll meet again. No one's shooting. They've been told to use local option. They're not shooting. Stop! Take one more step, and I'll be forced to have them open fire. What the hell? Come. Oh, they made him invisible. <laughs> fire! Fire! God, I love those people. All right, so we have the return of the Nox. Is that the same? thinking what the little guy with funny hair once told us. The very young do not always do as they're told. Yeah. Alrighty, well that was uh, season one, episode 17, titled Enigma. Um, pretty decent episode. Uh, we met another race that is like way ahead and we got the return of the Nox, which was cool, because I, like, um, I was aware that the Nox episode was, like, like a continuing arc on the show, so 
Um, it was nice to see them come back so soon, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.